So my friends are telling me that are watching along with me live to eat the head. They looked at it. They're like, okay, that's good enough for you to eat. So let's get it. This part is what's scary because we don't typically eat the head. So this is a scary part right here. So we take off the head. There's its eye. Still time in Buffalo. I'm out to get some jasmine rice. This is an everyday thing out here in Buffalo, ice cold. Hey, I'm excited for tonight because tonight's the, for the first time I'm making mangoes, aka milkfish. And I'm gonna start off with the dipping sauce by Datu Puti. It's gonna be a spiced vinegar sauce that you can use for dipping. I'm aware that I should have made this the night before to give it time to marinate it itself with the garlic and the spiced chilies, but I'll, I'll do it now and uh, it'll be ready for next time. I believe I'm gonna put a cup into this bottle here and store it this way. So let's get started. I'm about to get this dipping sauce ready to go here. So one cup of Datu Putti. Got a nice little seal on top. This just popped in my face. I see the recording. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take the Datu Putti vinegar, one full cup worth. Ooh, it smells citrusy. Almost like apples a little bit. Now we're ready to pour this into the vinegar. Looks beautiful. So we got some beautiful marinated milkfish here, pre-marinated. Very excited to try these. Now, now I, was I was told to make sure I have a hat on to cover my hair because the smell of the fish gets into your clothes. So I'm gonna open up these windows here to get some circulation or ventilation. Okay, here we go. Look at that beautiful sizzling milkfish. There's a new unique smell in my house that I'm not used to smelling, and I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing so far. Get a look at this beautiful bangus. Beautiful bangus. It really smells delicious. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My first attempt at cooking a bangus, paired with the white rice, the garlic rice. If you eat the bangus, you get a piece of it, dip it in your vinegar, put it on your rice, the bangus, and then eat it. Ooh. Here we go. Dip and put it on the rice. Dip. What a delicious, pleasant surprise that is. You taste the crispiness of the fish. It's crunchy, it's ju juicy and moist. So you dip it in the vinegar. Yeah. Absolutely, like, a, like something that I never tasted before. Got the bangles, get a good dip. Grab it like a sandwich, that's what they told me. Grab it like a sandwich. So my friends are telling me that are watching along with me live to eat the head. They looked at it, they're like, okay, that's good enough for you to eat. So let's get it.
this part is what's scary because we don't typically eat the head. So this is a scary part right here. So we take off the head. There's its eye. For some reason right here, this part reminded me of Akuna Matata from The Lion King. No worries. Well, kid. Oh, well. Akuna Matata. Slimy? It's satisfying. That's it. See the eyeball? We're going to dip it. Mix it with the rice. A little scary. <laughs> it's just all in the mind. It don't taste bad. It's just scary. Mmm. All right. Now we're past it. We're good. The head actually tasted delicious. It was just psychological. You know, I've never eaten fish eyeballs before. Or fish brains. So I left the tail. Little piece of skin there. But I polished it all off. So as, so as I was eating, I was reminded of a saying that we go by here. And it's called, give a man a fish and he can eat for a day. But teach him to fish, he can eat the rest of his life. And I just realized that I have a little bit of a problem with that. Why not give a man a fish and let him enjoy it and teach him how to fish on top of that so he can eat the rest of his life? Why not give him both? <laughs>